Mike is one of the most unique executives that has ever operated in television. I met Mike on his first day of work at Fox. He had come over from KTLA and was this kind of force of nature that blew in. Mike was tasked with creating programming that would, you know, garner a lot of attention. And he has an incredible tuning fork for things that are going to be big attention getters. So we just started working on ideas and he is just one of the most unique thinkers in our business. And, you know, very, very early on, he started programming specials at Fox that were um, headline grabbers and very, very sensational, whether it be When Animals Attack or Alien Autopsy or Who Wants to Marry a Millionaire. Um, he, he was kind of leading the charge on how to get attention and draw audiences to one-offs and specials that you don't have big budgets in order to bring an audience to. Um, and he was just a master at it. The first program that we did together was a show for Fox called Paradise Hotel, which was a relationship show. For that summer that we did it, it was supposed to be a, uh, a 15 episode order, which at the time, most reality shows were six episodes. It's kind of like the beginning of reality. We ended up doing 31. It was the first reality show that was done in a very short tape turnaround. He is uh, phenomenal. Uh, creative, collaborative, unlike anyone I've ever met before. I got to know Mike when I came over here with Pop Idol, uh, and we were deciding what the show should be called over here. Uh, it may seem silly now that you know it's called American Idol, but it took a long time to get us there. It's like doing a jigsaw puzzle without a picture on the front of the box. You actually made the story up from the footage that you recorded. But what Mike was brilliant at was looking at it when it was put together and saying, I'm not happy with that, but if you do this, I think it'll work. And normally you don't get that from uh, executives. You normally get, I don't like this, I don't like that, and I don't like the other. End of. So because of Mike's creativity, it was much easier to work with him than anybody else I've ever worked with. He has made probably the hardest transition that any executive could ever attempt, which is to go from the buy side as a network programmer and greenlighter to the sell side. And he's done it uh, masterfully and, you know, with a great deal of success. Mama's wife, but I, I'm telling you, it's fact, he's a genius. He's so smart and so creative. He'll think up an idea just out of the blue, or somebody will give him an idea and he'll broaden it and make it bigger than it is. And he has really good instincts about what people would really want to watch. Even in middle school, Mike used to read the fall TV guide and tell me, this, this show's not gonna work, and this show, he always had a really good sense of television and what was good television, what people liked, and what was gonna work. I think probably the highlight that I remember for Mike at CSUN is when he got an internship through his speech communication things. You know, CSUN gave him the opportunity to work his way into television. Mike, congratulations on receiving this distinguished alumni award from the California State University, Northridge. You justifiably deserve it. In fact, you deserve every award that you can be given. Mike, I'm so proud of you, and you're so deserving of this honor. You're an amazing friend. It's been an honor, and it still is an honor to be such good friends with you and Carolyn, and I'm so proud of you. I cannot think of a person that I'd rather collaborate more with than you. You are a creative genius, a legend. You're an innovator. You're unique. Um, you've always pushed me to be a better producer. Mike, heartfelt congratulations for this uh, incredible honor. I, I take issue with distinguished, but you know, I, I understand how they arrived at that. Chelsea and I both love you so much and we're so, so proud of you. We think you are just the best husband and dad in the whole world and a genius. We love you so much. Mwah.